Welcome to Haley Motorsport. Today, I'm going to show you how I made these sweet, sweet headers for the 302 Cleveland in the Haley Motorsport F600 race truck. So I had a couple of uh, comments on Instagram when I put a post of a photo of these up when I was making them. So I thought I'd just make a quick video, seeing as we've got no racing on, I'm catching up on a bit of stuff around here, trying to finish these off and a few other odd jobs. Yeah. So as a welder, I make a pretty good grinder. So if I can do this, anyone can, trust me. So I actually bought this kit to make these headers from Playtime Auto Parts in Sunbury, in Melbourne. There's plenty of other people around that make them, and you can buy the bends individually if you want to do it that way. Uh, bends and plates, but this was a kit that they did for the 2V Cleveland, like this old girl. Um, they had kits for LSs and a few different things, so you can do this for anything. The reason we needed to make these headers, because the standard headers that were on it, which were these old suckers here, um, as you can see, they've been pretty well stoved in here, and it's to clear the steering box. So the steering box on these old F600 trucks up here, where the motor's mounted, we didn't have a lot of clearance. As you can see, this is about where the steering boxes sit here. Um, so just to, to make them clear, you had to make some custom headers. I could have probably modified them a bit or done something else. I tried a few different options. LS headers have the same port spacing, so I bought a couple of LS headers because they run a different direction, a couple of Chinese ones. And I was going to cut the flanges off and make them work, but it just then it wasn't going to clear the starter motor. So I just decided to go out and make my own. Now it is a time consuming job, but like I said, I can't weld. I'm not the best welder in the world, so if I can do it, anyone can. So initially when I did this, I had the motor mounted in there and I got me the initial pipes all laid out until I cleared the, the chassis. Once I got past the chassis, then I've got pretty well free space to put them wherever I need to. This side, I did have that set up like that, but I had this one a little bit wrong, so I pulled it off just to fix it. But that helps me show you how I did it. So this kit came with a variety of different bends and it's just a matter of sussing out which ones you need, cutting them off at the appropriate length and uh, making it work. Now. I did a bit of rough math, and there's plenty of calculators you can find online to do this for you if you want. You'll put in cam specs and engine size and stroke and bore and all the rest of it. Um, but I did a bit of rough math um, and worked out that the ideal header length in an inch and three quarter tube for this, this old 302 is about 38 inches from the back of the valve. So there's about two inches here from the valve to the face of the uh, steel plate here. So ideally we need about 36 inches. Now on the other side, I got them all pretty close. They're all within an inch or two of where they need to be, or 36 inches. And as always I did to do that, I've lost my tape measure. So all I did to do that, it's a bit of lecky tape. 36 inches long. Now you want to tape that. Apparently the go is measuring it from the uh, and measure it from the center of the bends, but mate, we're not talking, this is not a Formula One engine, so we're not gonna get it perfect. And look at that, about half an inch left over. Um, and they're all within about half an inch to an inch, so it's pretty close. So, so I need probably this one here. We'll mark that up and we'll cut it. We're going to have to cut that pretty well right on the bend. So a lot of these I've cut right on the bend. Um, makes them a little bit easier to fit. I'm just dropping me drop saw straight off at the bend and weld it on. Now drop saw <laughs> is what I had. It's probably not the best thing to be using. You'd be better off with a band saw or maybe a, like a um, an automatic uh, hacksaw type deal. But Drop saw is what I had, doesn't cut them off quite flush. You've got to grind them up a bit to clean them up, but it works okay. So when you cut them with a drop saw, they end up with a... Clean that up makes life a whole lot easier. I'm about to weld this pipe in here. Another quick tip. I'm not gonna be able to get to this weld after I've done that. So what I've been doing, anywhere you can see there's a weld like on the outside here, um, or down in the middle here where they're in between them all. I've been welding those joins and grinding them before I put this piece in. Because otherwise I've got to cut them all apart again to do it.
So now I'll tack this one in. And we'll find the next bend. Cut that sucker off and we'll be good to go. Diagrama, on clean up the inside of your pipe before you bottom on. I didn't worry about it for this one because oh, we're sure. gonna have to weld all these up and grind them out when we're, uh, when we're ready to go. So that's gonna work beautifully. Gonna have to cut this off a little bit. Couple of 90s. And we'll be good to run. tin of black header paint and these suckers will be good to run. So it's the next morning. Thought I'd better throw the motor back in and just check the clearances on it before I uh, finish welding them up and painting them. So I thought I'd better show you how much of a clearance issue I actually had. So as you can see I made it that way for a reason. It's all pretty close but it fits and the other sides it's got plenty of clearance too. Fit in there, good. So now that that's done, I can rip this motor back out. We'll, uh, I'll finish welding those headers up, paint them up so they're ready to go. Then it's just a matter of fixing all the rust up in the firewall, welding up a few more holes here. Strip it, paint it, do the suspension up, finish up the interior, put a seat in it. <sighs> the list goes on and on and on. But hopefully by next season, we've got this sucker ready to run. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll uh, see you somewhere, hopefully.